on the Lazy Geckos. We had our rigger, Jason Pinko, take you around the Lazy Gecko during a complete rigging survey. This was a unique opportunity that anyone that sails or is thinking of sailing could benefit from. Thanks, Jason, for sharing your knowledge with us. Time to let the water touch you. Why? It's got disease. Okay, that's great. Ugliness? No. Trevor was here because he uh, helped clean it. So, what a month? Has it been a month? Yeah. After our older kids left, we decided to find a babysitter that we could use from time to time while waiting out hurricane season. After interviewing many from Care.com, we found Mary. So we pretty much showed her the toilet, everything, um, as far as what you do, and there's a lot that goes with the boat. How do you feel about watching a baby on a boat? Yeah, I think it's just really neat. I've never done anything like that before, and it's it's nice because you feel the a little bit of rocking and stuff. I, I just think it's cool, you know. I, I'm, I'm great. I'm so happy that you sent me that message. Uh, <laughs> and when you said, are you sure you're okay with being on a sailboat? I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Reese, hey. All right, well, are you ready to leave him with a babysitter? Yes and no. That thing makes me feel so much better. Nanny cam. Yeah. That thing's amazing because you can see everything that's going on and it alerts record. you. It has motion sensor and night vision. Yeah. My biggest concern is le her leaving the boat. I don't think she's going to steal Reese, but I'm always worried somebody's going to steal Reese. Yeah. But I'm ready to go out, have fun. One thing that all parents can relate to is how little time we get for ourselves once we have kids. This goes for living on a boat as well. While we love spending every minute with Reese, it was very nice to go out and enjoy each other during our adult time. Okay, so the babysitter's gone. It's late. We had an amazing night out. We're gonna hang out in the cockpit, have some drinks. We don't plan to use Mary too many times, so we took full advantage of it. We both find it very important to get back to the basics when it comes to relationship. Keep it fresh, flirty, and fun. That's coming from a couple that is always together, always. Wake up, he or she is there. All day, still there. Bedtime, guess what, there. Remembering who we are together and doing things like this keeps it fun as it was in the beginning.
The sun was an okay guy. They had a pet dragonfly. The dragonfly ran away, but it came back with a story to say. I just took all the covers off and like you know, tighten taco down. Not really expecting too much, like 30 knots. Is this the day of the storm? Tomorrow. It's our torn apart cockpit. In the end, we didn't get too much of the hurricane. Some wind and showers overnight and then a breezy day the next. That's okay though, it's better to be over prepared than under. Okay, it's question and answer time with rum. I have many like maintenance questions. Do you want one of those? Let's not talk about maintenance tonight. Okay. Um, why did we consider a cat why didn't we get a catamaran instead of monohull? Because monohulls are sexier than catamarans. <laughs> Is that your answer? I'm gonna answer that. With a monohull, you get the true like honey do it. You do it so well, do it. The true sailing experience. <laughs> <laughs> you do it better than that. I don't know. The true sailing experience where you're like, you're healed yeah, and you're, you're healing. with the water, it's coming, yeah, it's, like, it's splashing over. It's all over you. You know, you feel the wind with the sails moving the boat. And <laughs> a catamaran, yeah. uh, you, don't, you don't get that. Although no. they're gorgeous and you yeah, can be cool. up there on the trampoline and we've done it at yeah. our friends. It's cool. Um, you know, I thought you'd have more room than you do. On a cat. Really? I didn't realize how much room you have okay. on well, a cat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But, if, you know, I, I, I live in a small space. Right. <laughs> we had so much positive feedback on our Ascot tees. We love them. They're great. We've washed them. They've held up great. So we let Jonathan know, and he actually sent us these hats. Jonathan, Jonathan is the founder of the company, correct? Right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. He sent us these cool hats. I think he has two different styles. This is one of them. They're awesome. They're breathable back here and they're cap like captain. You feel all sophisticated and I wear this all you the time. rock it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's hot, you Tough know. Going outside the boat, they need to know I'm the captain, so it's <laughs> Even Reese rocks it, which I think Jonathan told me in the future as soon as Reese gets a little older you can get him some stuff yeah. too. So for now, every morning in the bee birth, Reese yeah. grabs the hat and puts it on. I went to get a rag <laughs> from the closet <laughs> and apparently my wife dried the rags. <laughs> or, yeah. No, they were that big to begin with. No, they were not. <laughs> so, that's not going to work. <laughs> it works perfectly for me. What are you going to do? Get the rag. Get the rag. Get the rag. Get the rag. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, Did she swallow it? Okay. Somebody asked, do you have any regrets? And every time somebody asks me that, I always say I only have one. And my regret was not moving on sooner than we did. So a lot of people, and I've only learned this through talking to people, they will tell me, you know, I'm waiting to my retirement date. And looking back, I wish that we didn't wait. I wish we moved aboard at least a year, but in a perfect world, two years before he retired. You know, and we got settled because I didn't realize, I thought we could get on the boat and we could go. You can't. I didn't realize that you have to fit the boat not only to your needs, but everybody's needs. And that means kids, animals, adults, you know, what do you need out there? What do you, what do you want out there? You know, what's important, what isn't? And that takes time because it's small and it's hard to get things done. Especially if it's summer, you have to work certain hours of the day if you don't have AC. And that was probably my biggest regret. How'd you like your dip in the in the waters nice. of the ICW? Like warm and cushiony. Air guitar, air guitar. Alright guys, we have now completed a successful night out and now we all of a sudden answered some questions that I never thought would happen. Yeah. So I think we're going to go inside and complete the night yeah. with a little Sounds good to me. sleep time.
Sleep time. <laughs> snuggle? Yeah, let's go snuggle. Let's go cuddle. Let's go cuddle. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, oh I love cuddling with you. Next time on The Lazy Geckos. We get some bad news about our dogs and we've decided to share it with you. Then we take our Viking life raft in for servicing before our big trip across the Gulf Stream. While there, we get a full tour of how it works and what's included inside. You don't want to miss this. If you enjoy our videos, then please help support us on Patreon. Remember to donate via PayPal for all of your Lazy Gecko swag.